Hi, this is Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. Welcome to this week's Digital Marketing Today. We're with Fanny Dunnigan, and we'll be right back. And welcome back to Digital Marketing Today. Really excited to have Fanny Dunnigan with us today from PathLinks. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know you're very busy and really appreciate you making time to come by and talk to us today. So if there, hap if there happens to be anyone who doesn't know who you are, <laughs> I mean, you're everywhere, right? So uh -huh. just in case there's people that don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and kind of how you, how you got to where you are now with PathLinks. Sure, yes. So yeah, my name is Fanny Dunnigan. I co-founded PathLinks, which, is, which actually has gone through a lot of transformations. We went from organizing job fairs and doing social media marketing to now very full on into helping individuals and team leaders with video content for LinkedIn to build their professional brand mm -hmm. as well as their employer brand. So we help, we do coaching as well as leadership workshops around that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what kind of led you to <laughs> that, that space? Right? Yes, yeah, so long and windy road, but I'll summarize it in that I used to do change management communications and training for IT implementations for aerospace and defense industry. So I was always kind of like in technical industries, but doing communications and training. Mm -hmm. And But that required all kinds of travel. And um, when I wanted to become a mom, I decided to stay home for a while. And when I w came back to it, I ended up helping a local outreach center with their job fairs. Mm -hmm. And from there, promoting it, bringing employers together, job seekers together. And that led me to do tons of social media marketing to promote these events. Mm -hmm. And that's when I really fell in love with LinkedIn and doing video content mm -hmm. and video marketing campaigns. Isn't that strange how things happen? It is. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. um, but I've loved it. Like mm -hmm. I think I used to judge it I judge myself around mm -hmm. um, having such a windy path, mm -hmm. but I think it's just a matter of every season has its own thing. Mm -hmm. And so I had my corporate life, and then I had my stay-at-home mom life, mm -hmm. and now I have my kind of entrepreneurial life, mm -hmm. and it's been wonderful. Yeah. Cool. Oh, sorry. My phone's sitting on the desk, <laughs> and it started going off inadvertently, so I have to get rid of that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, so, um, one of the things uh, that I really enjoy, like some of the, a lot of the content you put out is around uh, the kind of in the job arena, like people that are maybe in transition or maybe still employed but looking for a new opportunity and how do they find that. And one of the things that um, when I have an opportunity to speak with people like that, one of the things that we always try to stress is the importance of them having like their own identity or their own brand outside of yes. maybe whatever company they work for. Yes. So particularly with the job market now and the way that's going, how, like, how, do, how do you coach people on how to navigate that? Yes, um, I think it all starts with finding a problem and then you being the solution. Are you offering solution to it? So whether you're in IT or whether you're in HR or supply chain or manufacturing or whatever finance, whatever your field of expertise is, asking yourself like, what are the top 10 frequently asked questions I always get, mm -hmm. right? Like what do people always ask me about? Um, why are they seeking me out for help? and then creating video content around that. And if you're not comfortable getting on video yet, creating written content around that. Mm. Um, because at the end of the day, people want their problems solved, right? Like mm. what's keeping them up? And if you're providing tips and advice and best practices and different methodologies around that, then that's a way of like showing what you can do, what you know, your expertise, and then from there, they're like, who is this person like mm -hmm. telling me tips around how to staff better or how to project management better or mm -hmm. anything like that? And then that's when they start to scope up your profile 
and like find out exactly what who you are and what your expertise is and then that's how you get in with um, piquing people's curiosity and then offering solutions to their problems. Mm -hmm. um, so I think always find what are the big problems or big questions in your industry and from there um, offering advice and value around that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great place to start. Yeah, that's really good advice. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people overlook that. They're just concerned about just populating their profile yes. with this is what yes. I've done and you yes. know, this is what I know and this no. is how many certifications I have. No. And, you know, and all that kind of <laughs> and stuff. And we have right? resumes for that and right. LinkedIn profiles for that. Mm -hmm. um, the best way I've heard it described is your resume and your LinkedIn profile tells people what you do, mm -hmm. but like video content and um, written content tell people who you are, mm -hmm. right? They can see your energy, your um, your dynamism, uh, your personality, right? So, you know, it's like a picture is worth a thousand words, well, a video is worth a million words. Right. And in like one minute of a video of you, somebody can see whether they gravitate to you or not. Right. Um, and especially if you're offering value around that in addition to them getting a feel for you, then you're kind of like halfway in the door already. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So um, I'll start a thought and then maybe we'll take a, a little bit of, we'll, we'll kind of uh, pique people's interest and then okay. take a little bit of a break and come back to it. But um, people that you work with, um, what are what are some of the biggest challenges? Mm -hmm. Or roadblocks, or maybe you know that they that they put up that they have to get over. Um, well, firstly, getting on video, mm -hmm. you know, taking that big gulp, and um, I think a lot of times they don't know where to start, and then also just like really hesitating because they're afraid of the judgment or afraid to put themselves out there. Even though a lot of times the professionals that I interact with, they can very easily go up to a front of a room and give a PowerPoint presentation and stand in front of a crowd and do that. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as you point a video at them, then they kind of, you know, they, they hesitate right, right. and get scared. Um, but I think a big thing that I remind people of is that at the end of the day, we all have value. We all have something to say. We wouldn't have made it as far into our career as we would have if, you know, if we didn't. Um, and I think we, so start from there. Like mm -hmm. We all have value to give. And there's always somebody that we can help. Okay. So when we come back, mm -hmm. we'll get into the solutions sure. around that. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I, I have some ideas yes. <laughs> about that as well. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, we are going to take just a short break here in a moment. But first, one of the things that we do every week on our shows is we feature a local artist and a particular piece of artwork by that local artist. So our uh, artist this week is uh, C.J. Cowden. Um, and she's represented by David Call of uh, David Call uh, Design. Uh, he's actually uh, placed artwork all around the VentureX Dallas by the Galleria location here. There's three artists, about 30 different pieces of artwork. So those are all on view right now. And the current work that we have in our studio is called Genesis 1-1, uh, again by C.J. Cowden. She's a great local artist. So stop by VentureX Dallas by the Galleria, come by, say hi to us, and take a tour around. Uh, we actually have uh, a uh, kind of a catalog of sorts up by the front desk uh, that talks about all the different pieces of artwork and who the artist is and kind of some background behind those. You can actually pick up at the front desk and then walk around the entire facility mm -hmm and uh, learn about the artwork, kind of like a little gallery. So it's That's really fun. cool. So uh, come check it out. And they are all for sale uh, if you're looking for some great artwork. So uh, that's our Artist of the Week. And now we're going to take a quick break and recognize our sponsor for today, today's program. And we'll be right back with more Fanny Dunnigan.
And welcome back to Digital Marketing Today. We're having a great conversation with Fanny Donegan from Pathlink. So before our break, we were kind of talking about some of the common challenges, roadblocks people put up to kind of diving into this whole video content yes. thing. So we deal with that a lot of times with clients yeah. also. Um, and just, you know, it's important for consumers uh, to see kind of the face and the personality and you know, behind a business mm -hmm. so that they can really connect with them. Mm -hmm. But even with that, um, you know, we, sometimes we get a little bit of that pushback, mm -hmm. you know, from clients that, well, oh, I don't want to be on camera. So, yeah. I mean, we may hire a spokesperson, uh -huh. you know, to be a spokesperson for them or maybe mm -hmm. figure out another different, you know, type of video content. But mm -hmm. um, I know that it can be a big thing with individuals as well, particularly if people have never, like, done much public speaking or gotten yeah. up in front of people. It's like the camera goes on and they just kind of, kind of yes. free, freeze in front of the camera. So how, yes. how do you, I mean, I know we have some techniques that we kind of use to get people comfortable with doing that, but what are, the, what are some of the tricks that you use to mm -hmm. help people get through that? Um, I think one thing I do sometimes is I literally sit down and just have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. So um, I love finding out about people, very curious about people. And so we literally sit down side by side and then I just have a conversation with them. And I ask them questions that I think their typical client might want to know the answer to. And so from there, it's just a recording of a conversation. Mm -hmm. So I think that helps to relax them a bit, even though like a camera's there, mm -hmm. but they're talking to me and we have eye contact, kind of like right now. Sure. Right? Yeah. So that's one way is just to make it about a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, another way I do is um, I try to find something that they're passionate about, or I ask a question that's almost not work-related. So something around like, you know, what is one tip that you might give your former self? Or what is an advice that you might give to a college graduate? So something very like almost non-threatening, non-technical. And I think the best kind of content comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. And I find that those kind of questions that have them pull out a memory or pull out some piece of advice that they'd like to share or pull out some learning lesson um, I think those really connect with audiences and mm -hmm. builds trust and builds relationships. So that's a second way. Mm -hmm. And then probably the third way is, I call this like focusing out mm -hmm. instead of focusing in. Mm -hmm. So when I'm focusing in, then I'm like worrying about everything. Like, am I talking too fast? Am I using my hands too much? You know, how do I look? And those are all like focusing in thoughts. And I always say, like, focus out instead and, like, picture your ideal client, picture your, the ideal person that you want to help, and then have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. And, like, so make it all about that person. Make it all about helping that one person out there in the social media world that mm -hmm. really needed to hear that um, tip or that advice or that thought from you. Um, and then make it all about them, focusing out. So I find those three ways, I think, sometimes help to calm people down a bit, and then we go from there. Sure. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, you mentioned earlier about, you know, a lot of times people, even people that are, you know, maybe have some type of experience getting up in front of a group of people or presenting a PowerPoint or mm -hmm. something like that, you know, a lot of times we encourage people to even though they may be using us for some of their production, we really encourage them to produce their own content mm -hmm. as well. So we have yeah. what we call a three-tiered content approach. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of that medium and lower tier, uh, one of the suggestions we give to them is even, okay, so make a PowerPoint mm -hmm. and convert that PowerPoint to video. Oh, yes. And then, all you, and then all you have to do is, like, script... Yeah. some words and record that, yeah. you know, and, and it's pretty easy to put that kind of stuff together, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of a low learning curve, yeah. and a lot of people are used to, you know, making presentations yeah. and things, and so, you know, it's an easy way sometimes for them to kind of, like, break the ice and at yeah. least get some, where they don't have to be on camera, yes. right, you yes. know, 
And then once they get used to that, yeah. then it seems like they get a, you know a little bit more you know comfortable with maybe trying out the the webcam or the yeah. or the iPhone or something every once in a while, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, just to add on to that, mm -hmm. especially just for any job seekers out there, that's a great way to practice for interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, just you're in the privacy of your own room or office, whatever, and you just shoot yourself answering typical interview questions. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to kind of like check yourself as to, you know, play it, when you play it back, did I come off kind of weird answering right. that question? And Because a lot of times we're, our, we're some critic, sure. right? Yeah. But from there you can tweak your answers because right. you get to kind of watch yourself back. Yeah. So that's another just quick tip for any job seekers out there Absolutely. to use video yeah. to practice for interviews. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. And it's also a really good way to practice too. I mean, you know, yes. because, you know, a lot of times even if, you know, you have an idea for a piece of content that you want to produce, if yeah. you just practice that three or four times, yeah. then you get a lot more comfortable and you're delivering the message much more naturally yes. and it kind of comes off a lot better too. So, yes. yeah. Yeah. Putting out video content. I think the only way through that <laughs> is through practice. And just do it. I mean, you know, just it, do it. Yeah. Like every single hiccup. I mean, just the other day I was trying to record a, a video mm. and I just kept on like, I don't know, just a bad day. It's just stumbling over every word that I was saying. And, mm. and I just had to like really pause. Mm -hmm. And then, like, quiet the brain, and then just hit record again. Well, we never so. make mistakes doing live. <laughs> no, I mean, never, not at never all. Never any mistakes at all. At all. <laughs> no, it seems like every show there's something that goes on, yeah. right? So I think at the end of the day, like, people appreciate humanness, mm -hmm. right? Like, if anything, I think our whole society is moving towards more authenticity, authenticity and mm -hmm. vulnerability, and. Yes, we have bloopers, and yes, we stumble, but I think people want to hear the real us and the real imperfect us, and I think that resonates even more with audiences than some perfectly crafted, Sure. <laughs> you yeah. know? Um, I mean, there's quality still very important, Right. Um, but for those that are starting out, it's okay. Like, yeah. You connect with audiences when you're real. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So there's a, there's a place for it all. So there really it, is. <laughs> so. Absolutely right. Yes. Yeah. Well, awesome. So um, if people want to, I, I know that you're readily available, but again, for those who may <laughs> yeah. not, who've been under a rock for the last <laughs> three oh. to five years, and uh, uh -huh. so how can someone get a hold of you, contact you directly? Yeah, uh, um, LinkedIn. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just Fanny Dunnigan. Think of the Asian with the Irish last name. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's easy enough to remember. And um, and yeah, find me on LinkedIn. You know, you'll probably come across a post that I do, and and then we'll go from there. Send me a message there. All right. Yeah. Well, this was a, a great conversation. Again, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. Uh, for, for stopping Thanks by. For having me. And since we've been talking about video content, for those of you who might be interested or know someone who could use some uh, regular video content uh, to promote their business, uh, we are in our uh, video podcasting studio here at Sync Lab Media. And, Great uh, place. Uh, thank you. you. Have, and yeah. uh, we do have. Uh, subscription programs available uh, that are geared towards small businesses and entrepreneurs uh, to make a kind of a turnkey solution very affordable. So if you're interested, reach out to us at Sync Lab Media and you can have your very own show just like Digital Marketing Today. So um, so we're going to wrap it up for today. Again, thank you so much, Fanny. Thank really you, appreciate you being here. Appreciate it was great. It. Yeah. And uh, next week on Digital Marketing Today, we have Lila Smith showing oh, up next yes. week. So, awesome. So I'm very Love excited Lila. about that as too. Yes. So talking about communication skills and messaging, mm -hmm. and which is really Absolutely. important with everything. So uh, thanks again for joining us today. And don't miss next week. We'll see you then on Digital Marketing Today.